Hi guys, so today I'm starting to vlog off with a nice banana cake or banana bread even, yes it's banana bread. Is it? No it's not banana bread, it's lemon drizzle cake. Here it is. I'm starting the day off with lemon drizzle cake and a little coffee to start the day off so uh, yeah. So today is day five of me testing positive and usually on day five you can take like a test to make sure you're negative so you can leave isolation tomorrow which will be day six but I just took a test and I'm still testing positive so I can't leave which uh, makes me very sad but I guess crap happens but yeah I've done like three different kinds of tests so I took a test on the old like tests we have to like, do both in mouth and nose and I took one on two other tests um they all came out that positive so I've definitely I'm definitely still infectious so yeah, um, so it's, um, I don't know, but to leave isolation, you're supposed to test negative like two days in a row. So, if I tested negative today, and if I tested negative tomorrow, then I would be able to leave tomorrow, but now that's not the case, so um, that isn't very good. So, um, yeah, I'm still quarantined um, as we speak, so. Right, I'm going to leave you guys here now, so. Here's the thing, I am so tired today because I stayed up until like 4am last night and I woke up like 9 so that's like, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's like 5 hours of sleep so um didn't sleep that much last night but um, yeah so I'm gonna eat this um, lemon drizzle cake right now which is really nice by the way like I actually love lemon drizzle cake my love for lemon drizzle cake came from when I went to Costco once uh, this was like a couple of years ago, I think. Yeah, I think about four or five years ago. And I, we bought this like lemon drizzle cake and it honestly tasted so good. I mean, Costco stuff tastes good anyway. Like I love the cookies from there and I love pizza from there. Like I love literally everything from there. But the lemon drizzle cake tasted gorgeous. So that's what got me into lemon drizzle cake. Anyway, I'm gonna... Um, Lots of shots going for that. Right, so I'm halfway through editing my last vlog, um, Valentine's Day vlog, and did I just order a Frostino from Costa Coffee on Deliveroo? Yeah, I bet I did because I miss those Frostinos so much. So I thought, hmm, today's one of those days, so I'm gonna get myself a Frostino. We're out coffee this time because I feel like Frostino is like hit different without coffee, like I feel like it tastes better without coffee, like sometimes, well most of the time actually, a lot of the frostinos with coffee just give me like a boost of energy, but I've only drank coffee today so I don't really feel the need to have coffee, I just want the frostino because I just feel like a good old frostino right now, so that's what I did, so um, yeah. Okay, bag has been secured. Frostinos, here we go. Okay, so my Frostino is in this Costa coffee bag thing right now, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna open the Frostino now. Okay, um, straw, and then we have a Frostino. Oh my god. It looks different though, it looks more crushed and stuff, but you can kind of see it. It looks really good. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna. Drink this right now and then get back to some more editing because I need to edit, edit and edit um, and then we should be good to go. What what's this? Oh, it's like a leaflet thing telling me to register to the Costa app thing, but I'll give that a niece for today, but come Frostino, let's go. Yes, that tastes bloody gorgeous. It tastes even more better than when I usually have it, so it tastes so good. Yeah, you can definitely tell there's no coffee in this thing. Like usually when it's when it like when you put coffee in, like it tastes a lot more different than when there's no coffee. Hmm. Hey, right, what's up y'all? So it is half three in the PM right now, so I'm about to unpack that suitcase which I was going to use to go on holiday well the holiday got I got cancelled because I had tested positive for good old Miss Rona literally a day before I was meant to go so now I'm going to have to unpack it which is um, really sad so I would have actually been home today actually from that holiday too so yeah so here's a pink suitcase I had all my holiday stuff here and you can't really see that well I bought a load of clothes and stuff to go on holiday with so 
all these clothes in here, well most of the clothes in here were like brand new, now it's about to I do a different outfit for each day in um, Paris, but yeah, anyways, um, right, so I'm trying to, um, on, what is it, suitcase, ow, oh, it really hurts sitting on the floor, ow, oh, this, this, this floor's like perhaps really like a marbly kind of floor, and it like really hurts when I sit down, anyways, so, uh, I open this thing, turn it around, and there's already an explosion of clothes and stuff I was meant to use for my holiday, so yeah. So first up, we have this bag which has my trainers in, so um, trainers. Then there's like some, then there's like compartment to my bag where there's like clothes and stuff, there's underwears, hats, scarves. All the things, so I'm gonna unpack this thing right now. So you can see all the clothes I was meant to bring with me. Some fancy t-shirts, like new outfits I bought for holiday, all that. Some hats, scarves and stuff because it was meant to be freezing. And obviously my underwears and socks, so yeah, a lot to unpack it. Okay, so I've made progress with unpacking my suitcase. I actually took like a few seconds actually to unpack because I folded like everything into like order so I could like quickly pick stuff out of the suitcase as I need it. So I actually like, took a lot of things out of the suitcase. Now my suitcase is empty now, so now it's just a case of trying to organise my clothes now and putting them away and stuff. So here's the chaos right now that I'm injured. So we have trainers, underwear, socks, um, Things that I need to try and organise and organise where I'm going to put all this in my drawers. Da, 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 da. So I've organised all my clothes now. So I've organised them by which drawer or cupboard they go in. So these t-shirts go in the wardrobe. These go in the wardrobe. So all my sweatshirts and cardigans. All my pants go in the wardrobe. And then this jacket and pantage which is down here are like matching. So I'll have to try and keep those together. And then you have my um, underwears and things, they go in drawers, then my scarves and coats and stuff, and then of course my wash bags, so I'm gonna try and organise those later, but yeah. Okay, so I've just filmed a main channel video, and that was actually really fun actually, so um, I made a video where I reacted to all my old lockdown vlogs and stuff, and it was um, quite a trip actually down memory lane, so now I need to clean my room right now because it's gone messy and I can't stand mess so I haven't put away my suitcase stuff yet because I need to try and find space in the wardrobe and all that but I was going to put all my clothes in the wardrobe but when I put them onto the clothes hangers they were like really heavy and I didn't want to put too much clothes in the wardrobe like too much heavy clothes in case the wardrobe collapses because my wardrobe isn't really the most sturdiest as you can see like it's not the most sturdiest so I'm just scared of it collapsing if I put too much heavy stuff in there, so I'm going to have to try and see how I'll um, organise everything, but it might just be the case of having to put things such as pants and stuff which don't get creased in the drawers, and then put all the t-shirts and stuff which will get creased into the wardrobe, so I'll have to try and think of something, but anyway, so I'm going to go run a bath now, we'll have to clean room actually, I'm going to run a nice hot bath because I have another bath in ages. Okay, I don't mean I haven't washed in ages. I've had a shower later this morning, but I haven't had a bath in ages. I don't know, I'm just not a person who really has baths every day. I'd rather take showers, but yeah, I've just uploaded my Valentine's Day vlog, so um, go give that a watch if you haven't done so already. I'm gonna um, clean room now, um, life shall be good. Alrighty, I'm in the bathtub. So, um, today's been a day, um, where I, I got a lot of things done today which is really good, so today was kind of productive, but also at the same time, I, I was quite sad that I still tested positive on day five because how sort of isolation works in the UK is like, if you test negative on day five and you test negative on day six, that means you can leave the house on day six, but obviously today's day five and I tested positive 
but still tested positive on the day five. So that'll mean I'll have to. Um, I can't leave self isolation tomorrow, which is very sad. But um, yeah, I've took another test and it's still positive. Even though I feel fine now, like compared to a few days ago where I was like coughing and sneezing and stuff, like. I feel fine now, so it's kind of frustrating that I still test positive. I think it's because also, like, I still got, like, like, the slightest cough. Like, I still kind of cough um, Mm -hmm. sometimes, so that maybe is why um, I keep getting positive tests. But anyway, so tomorrow will be a day of, I don't know, but I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow, actually. Um, I think I'll just spend of a day just relaxing and stuff like that. and uh, yeah